Chess has long history. This game was invented 15,000 years ago in India, and nowadays the whole world plays this game. But only a few are good at it, and one of them, along with the other chess masters, is Grandmaster from Kazakhstan, Transaya Abdumalik. Someone likes to draw, others like to play chess, but most people like to play football. To do something that we love is a universal way of achieving happiness. By playing chess, for example, having a 64 square board, a person enjoys the process of playing. He or she can express themselves through this game, and this is a pure feeling of happiness. A chess player cannot live without playing a game, just like a writer cannot live without writing. The same goes with a chess player. And I must admit, chess isn't an easy sport. When other girls were playing dolls, little Jansaya, whose surname is her grandfather's name, was confident in making moves with figures on a chessboard. My father started to teach me how to play chess when I was six. He took me and my brother to a chess club, because when he was our age, he played chess too. I like the process of playing, when the game lasts for five to six hours and you have a strong willingness to win. Chess is a combination of art, science and sport, all in one. The chess game started to be considered more as a sport recently. I think it's due to many changes in the rules, like time control, for example. Jansaya has a big happy family. All strategic plans being developed in the kitchen where both her parents love to drink tea. The keys of the apartment where they live now were given to Jansaya Abdumalik on behalf of the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan. In those days, when her grandmothers were young, every family used to play chess, checkers or bingo. I have sent my sons to a chess club. And the love to this game was given by my son Danya to his children. Jean Saya and her older brother Sanjer turned out to be very good at chess. And each of them achieved some success at this game, especially Jean Saya. I want to admit that she was a special kid from her childhood. You could tell that just by looking at her, she had a very special look. And when she was telling something, she would sound like a true speaker. She has had a clear diction since a very young age. I thought she would become a speaker because her answers were clear and intelligent. Mother of Jansaya started to teach the alphabet to the girl and very soon she learned how to write and read. When she was about five or six years old, she fell from a swing and hurt her head. I began to worry after that. And then she told me, Grandma, don't worry, everything is going to be okay, it doesn't hurt me. But I was still worrying how to tell her parents it was my fault, she was small, and I should have looked after her better. And when she told me her words, I felt relieved. And then I realized she is very smart and understands everything at that young age. Her relatives saw something special in Chansaya, and they started to develop her intelligence. She was about six years old when she started to play chess. Her father decided to teach his children to play the Hoster Zulka Pablak part, where there are about 30, 36 strokes. Then they had to play it by memory. She was just starting to play and, you know, she made everything perfectly. And my son said after that, I think we gave birth to a genius child. And since that time, we've been treating chess seriously. She would sit for several hours training. It is hard for a little child, but not for Jansaya. She has a strong personality. 
ну как вот говорят, нордический, твердый такой. While the eldest in the family live in harmony, their children are growing being confident. My husband and I really wanted our children to be good at math. Because we ourselves loved it, and science in general. So when the kids were born, we knew they would be good at it. Jansaya's parents have an analytical mind, like her grandfather's, who were playing chess as well. I haven't seen any extraordinary abilities in Jansaya. I just taught her how to play chess and would send her, along with her brother, to a chess club. Within six months, as a candidate master in chess, I started to notice that she was becoming a really good player. At the chess club, the girl started to be noticed because of her abilities, and very soon she started to be involved in the competitions. When she came to the chess club, their coach Tamara Nikolaevna Gudova told me that she could see that the girl is special. Learning is easy for her, so she told me that the championship was to be held soon, and Jansaya could take part in that competition. At the city championship, Jansaya took third place, even though she was two years younger than all of her competitors. Thus, she began her way in this sport. She won two junior championships, two world championships among students and the Asian championship. She is also a silver and a bronze medalist of the world championship among juniors who are under 20 years old. And after this game, I admire what she does. And I respect her very much for the fact that she is working hard, training. She has put a lot of effort in order to succeed. Jansaya has been awarded with a medal for glorifying Kazakhstan abroad. She presented the country around the world. And her brothers and sisters, as well as her cousins, want to be like her. When she was seven years old, she became a champion of Almaty and a champion of Kazakhstan after that. She became a champion of Asia and the world champion when she was eight. When she would leave home for the tournaments, she would always say to me, I'm going to win. She was always confident, and that gave me confidence too. She's a very talented girl. Furthermore, she is very perseverant and has phenomenal memory. Jansay Abdumalik won a gold medal at the Youth Asian Championship with a score of six and a half points out of seven, and she became the youngest champion of Asia in the history of Kazakhstani chess. That was in 2008. I played in the Asian Championship, which took place in Iran. I won, did the double, then played at the World Cup and took first place there. After that, I won three World Championships, took second place at the World Championship for people under 20, which was in Turkey in 2012. And recently I played in Hantimansisk, also at the World Championship for participants under 20. I became third there. Jansay Abdumalik has been coached by international coach Nikolai Perigudov and she has been studying at the Academy of Chess ASEAN in Singapore, where Chinese Grandmaster Zhang Zhong was working with her.
You have to work a lot, to train for many hours, minimum of six hours a day, plus exercises. It's just a class. You have to constantly work on a daily basis. Without physical trainings, it is impossible to play at the professional level. The thing is that the chess game, at a high sixth level, might last for five and a half hours, and in order to withstand the tournament, you have to be in a good physical condition. The game of chess takes a lot of time. Shansaya is studying at home. She goes to a swimming pool and spends hours at the chess academy. After I became the world champion, many children began to learn about this sport. They started to get involved in this sport. We have a lot of children who are very talented. I have wanted this since childhood. I was dreaming of this when I became the world champion. I wanted us to have more champions. I told my parents that I wanted to open the chess academy. And in January the 10th, 2014, we did it. A little champion from Kazakhstan is now known worldwide. She won the tournaments in Russia and Iran, Turkey, Armenia, Poland, Greece, Indonesia and Slovenia. As soon as Jansaya started to play chess at the World Championships and winning them, this sport started to become more and more popular in Kazakhstan. You could tell that even by the World Cup. At the World Cup I coached the Australian national team and there were about 20 people from Kazakhstan and no one knew anything about the country. But now there are about 80 to 90 sports people coming to the games. They are really strong players. It is very important. Jansaya was awarded with the Patriot of the Year 2012 medal in the category of recognized Kazakhstan by the world. She was named as the best young athlete in Kazakhstan in 2012. She also became a winner of the Jastul Part 2013 under the aegis of the political party Nuratan. And she was awarded with the People's Favorite of 2013 in the category Respectful Athlete. In chess, like in all other sports, there's a competitive activity and a lot of work is put in order to play at the professional level. Jansaya is a very strong chess player, purposeful. She has a goal of becoming the world champion and she does everything to achieve this goal. At the end of 2013, 14-year-old Jansay Abdumalik was recognized as the best chess player of Asia by the Asian Federation FIDE under the age of 20 years old. To start with, we set a goal of our daughter to become the best chess player among women. And then, of course, we would like her to get into the men's group. It is called a dozen men. However, there's only one example in the world's chess history where a female player, Hungarian grandmaster Judith Polga, became fifth in the world, who defeated such champions as Karpov, Kramnik and Kasparov. There is an example, Polga, the Hungarian chess player. She has never played in women's chess. She played chess against men from her childhood. She was fifth in the world ranking among men. It is a record. She won many world champions, such as Kasparov, Karpov. She is my idol. I want to be like her. In 2014, Jansay Abdumalik entered the top 100 FIDE women's rankings at the first time. A 14-year-old chess player was on 89th place and became number one in Kazakhstan, surpassing 15 points international grandmaster Dinara Sadwakasova. The FIDE presidential board awarded a 14-year-old girl the title of an international grandmaster among women. She broke Sadwakasova's national record, who became an international grandmaster at 16. She's a leader of the women's chess team, not just in Kazakhstan. I think she could be a leader of the men's national chess team as well. I'm talking about the big chess. I think she has all of the needed opportunities. She only has to work hard, like any other talented person. This is the key to success, but Vinik and Petrasyan have identified what it takes to succeed. It turned out that only 1 or 5 percent of talent is needed. Everything else is constant hard work. A big ship needs a big sea, and someday Jansay Abdumalik from Kazakhstan will be representing our country at the men's chess elite.